Hey everybody, welcome and thank you so much for joining today. My name is Ashley Davis and I'm a market development engineer here at Instron. Today we're going to be talking about different types of Blue Hill Universal Securities. And briefly afterwards, I'll introduce you to our latest software platform, Blue Hill Central. So why is security so important and why use it? So we want our customers to be able to ensure data integrity, where only trained operators can run tests and only certain individuals can modify test methods or do data analysis. Let's say that I'm a lab manager and I have an open lab with multiple Instron frames and we have people walking in and out. We don't want people who are not properly trained to have access to our tests or our method files. So let's jump into Blue Hill. So here with no security, we see that I have access to everything. I have access to all my tests so we can continue a sample or start a new test. I have access to all of my methods where I can edit any of my existing methods or even create a new method. I can do analysis. And then I also have access to my admin tab, which is where we actually configure all of our settings of our frame and set up the communication with our Instron frame. So what I'm going to do is go into my security tab. And here we see that no security type. And if I drop down, I see my three options. I'm going to start with just my Blue Hill security and talk about the other two later. So going to change that. I'm currently set up as an admin, so I'm going to make this change. Okay, so I've previously set up a couple of users already. So for the sake of this demo, I have my username as, some, as myself and some of my colleagues' names. And then as the first name, I have the role that they're playing currently in my demo. So I have myself as the admin, I have Robert as my demo manager, and I have Meredith as my demo operator. So clicking on my name, we see that all the permissions that I have enabled. I'm able to test specimens, change tested specimens, as well as edit methods and configure the system. If I go into Robert, we see that he has very similar permissions as I do, but now he doesn't have the administrative rights of configuring the system or configuring security. If we open up Meredith, Meredith only has permissions as of right now to test specimens. Let's say that I want to onboard Meredith and I don't want to allow her to have any uh, additional permissions until we're happy with where she's at in her training. So let's say that she just got promoted and she's going to become a team lead. It's very easy for us to go into her and allow her to delete tested specimens and exclude tested specimens. Go ahead and save that and those permissions update automatically. If I have a new operator in my lab, it's very easy to add new users. So I'm going to create a user called Charlie. I'll set him up currently with a temporary password. And then we come down here to our user type and we see that we have three different types of users within this type of Blue Hill security. We have the administrator, which has access to everything, including configuration, which it actually won't let me disable. We can go into manager where I have access to everything except for those configuration settings which it won't let me enable. And then we have our operator, which defaults to the lowest amount of permissions, which is testing specimens, which again is okay for this situation because I wanna make sure that Charlie gets properly trained before he's able to do anything else within the test files. So I'm going to go ahead and add Charlie. And actually I forgot to give him, so demo operator, pretty easy to come back in, save. So what I'm going to do, go back to my home screen and we can see that I'm currently logged in as an administrator. I'm going to log out and log in as Charlie, show you what that looks like. So immediately we can see that Charlie does not have access to our method or our analysis windows. He does have access to an admin window, but that's only so that he can update his password to a stronger password, which we highly recommend after you set up your, your user. Go back home. Real quick, I'm just going to open up my tests and continue an existing sample. Properly set up my frame, make sure it's safe. Okay. And we immediately see if you're used to Blue Hill without any securities, you typically up here have your test tab, your method tab, and your report tab. But because Charlie is limited in his permissions, he only has access to be able to 
to run a test and that's it. So that's a pretty high level overview, pretty simple look at, at the Blue Hill security type. So let's talk about the other two. So as a reminder, we have no security, which means that all users, including people that are not your own lab personnel, have full access, no passwords, and we don't recommend this. Blue Hill security, which is internal to Universal, and those permissions are assigned per user, and you do have those predefined user types to help you out. Now, Blue Hill security type is available for legacy Blue Hill softwares, but in recent years, we've recently developed Active Directory. So Active Directory, if you are connected to a network, so if your frames are connected to a network, um, you can configure permissions per network Windows user groups. So typically when you get hired, IT will add you to specific user groups. You can now use those IT administrative user groups to set permissions within Blue Hill. And this is what we recommend the most out of all of these because of those higher level permissions. If you're not connected to a network, that's okay because we do have Windows security. So this is where the user groups come from the local Windows PC. And those permissions are also assigned per those user groups. And with Active Directory and Windows Directory, the operator, the manager, the administrator, everybody is going to log in using their Windows credentials. So using that very strong password. So that's why we recommend Active Directory. So we're all set up on my frame. Um, I'm good to go, but let's say, as I said, I'm a, I'm a lab manager. I might have four, five, six other frames that I need to configure the settings on. And this is what brings us into Blue Hill Central. So Blue Hill Central allows me to fully centralize my user management. So I'm able to configure all of those user permission settings for all of my frames, all at one location. So let's say that I'm using a personal PC or that there is a, um, local lab PC used by the manager or by the admin. Not only am I able to configure all of the permissions across everything at once, I'm also, I also have a file management system where I can keep all of my test templates, all of my results files, all of my methods. I can do file revision approvals. And I also have audit trail data where I'm able to track everything that's happening in my lab all in one location. And not only does that save you time and hassle, but it ensures that your lab is homogenized. So with that, um, really, security is pretty simple and easy. So let's see if there's any questions in the chat. No, that's cool. All right, so I'll do a couple of frequently asked questions about security. Do you have to pay for security? No, you do not have to pay for security because we want to ensure our customers are able to keep everything safe and ensure that data integrity. Um, the only difference is that if you do have a 3400 system um, with Blue Hill Elements, you do not have access to the Active Directory or the Windows Directory. You only have access to that Blue Hill Central security where you're actually configuring it per person. Is do, do, do. Is Blue Hill Central just for labs with multiple frames? No, <laughs> Blue Hill Central is still effective for small scale labs. You're able to remotely manage approvals if those are required. You're able to manage your users and perform analysis on multiple samples, all from the comfort of that one location. And that means that you're not interrupting your operator's workflow because you're able to do that analysis and do those approvals um, from another PC. So let's double check the chat. Oh, we have a question, let's see. How to undo the security option. So that's very easy. So I'm gonna go back in to my Blue Hill. So back in my Blue Hill, I'm going to log back in as my admin. Admin, security. And then down here, I just have a disable security button. Disable, pretty straightforward. All right, it looks like that might be it. I wanna thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you for watching this and make sure you tune in for our next YouTube live series.